She, let me tell you, say, Wahala not too much. Now Wahala don't too much. There was a reported case that happened in St. Francis today in Ondo State where more than 70 people, some gunmen came and invaded the church, a Catholic church called St. Francis, and they started shooting sporadically, which led to so many deaths. Bodies have been brought at even small children. You see how heartless these Fulani husbands have turned, have become this Fulani because they know their name. The, the media will begin to say unknown gunmen. If it was to be IPOB, they will tag IPOB straight and no mercy. I told you people, use your brain. But innocent civilians. Now, you see, that is why when I begin to criticize this killing that is happening, and people say it is not, uh, they don't just conclude. The Fulani people, I'm not trying to cause a tribal war, but the Fulani people, or the this, uh, Fulani people that are busy carrying themselves as uh, 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 headsmen walking around in the name of cows, and they are all armed. They are all armed, you know, trying to twist the whole story so that, they, you know, they keep mentioning unknown government, unknown government, whereas these people know who is who. People, people are now in the church, jejeli. Praying to God. Some people who claim that they are headers came into the church and started shooting people. This one is not blasphemy. Yo. This one now is not blasphemy. Tomorrow they will say that it is Christians that blaspheme more than the Muslims. This one now, it is not blasphemy. People are praying in the church. They didn't do anything to you people. You just went there and opened fire. Should they be in the north now that they went to the mosque and opened fire? They will start looking for Christians and they say it's blasphemy. You see what is happening? Does this country have any hope for you people? Does this country have any hope? I keep asking the same question every day, every time. Does this country have any hope for you people? What is happening? Suddenly, somebody took his bath or her bath this morning. Let's go to church and pray to God. Not knowing that some people are already in the bush planning this wicked act. And believe you me, Monday will pass, Tuesday will pass, Wednesday will pass, Thursday will pass, they will sweep this one under the carpet. And another story will come and take over. And I keep asking people, people who are arguing whether P2B should be the president or whether this one should be the president, don't you use your brain? Has NSAS not taught you a lesson? Has the killing that is happening in the South is not taught you a lesson? Several people have been killed by Boko Haram, it has not taught you a lesson, you will learn a lesson. You will learn a lesson. You don't want to use your PVC to go and vote, you want to go and stand in line and collect 1,000 Naira with a half bag of rice or one penta of rice, you will learn a lesson. You see, this evil woman that they collide together, they do, you will learn a lesson. You see, it's not, it's, 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 the, the only thing I'm pitying is that it's going to affect even the innocent ones. But you see, this one, these people that go around collecting 1,000 from politicians, to sell their vote, you will learn a lesson. Because the blood of the innocent will keep crying upon your head. And by the time it has gotten to that level, where you can no longer help yourself, that is when you will understand. Please, follow the tank and pray for St. Francis, Ondo people. Let them recover from this shock.